Now, local nursing homes and hospitals are taking another hit in the state budget crisis. The latest emergency spending bill, just approved in Albany last night, will keep state government up and running, but News Post Lisa LaRocca reports it also cuts more than $700 million in health care spending. Well, since there's still no state budget, Albany lawmakers had to pass another emergency extender in order to keep the government from shutting down. Only this time, Governor Patterson included hundreds of millions in cuts to health care. For the past two months, short-term emergency spending bills have kept the state government running on a weekly basis, while Albany lawmakers try to pass a budget and figure out how to close a $9 billion deficit. Last night, legislators approved their 10th extender that included $775 million in cuts to health care that will last all year. Hudson Valley State Assemblyman Greg Ball, who voted against the plan, says what you may not know is that these spending bills are not a temporary fix, but actually part of the final budget. Week by week, we're passing a small section of the budget, and we're inching closer and closer towards Armageddon and fiscal bankruptcy in the state of New York. The cuts will affect hospitals, nursing homes, and a lengthy list of other health-related programs. That's something that worries Sandra Lydon, who works as a hospital RN. Staffing is, is down, and it's, um, you know, the amount of people that need health care is increasing, and... It is. It's, it's scary to me. The reductions come from proposals Governor Patterson put forth in his original budget plan. And earlier this month, he promised to put the cuts into temporary spending bills to try and force legislators to finalize a budget that's now more than two months late. They should get their act together. They think the money is just going to keep on printing and printing and printing. And Governor Patterson is promising more cuts, this time to education and local government funding for the next round of emergency extenders. Have to see if they pass a budget before then.